It's got that whiskey whiskey taste to it, you know. It's nice. It's definitely. I'm not whiskey. quite the connoisseur these two are. Welcome back to Drinking with Craig and Roger. I'm Craig. I'm Roger. And this is our friend Billy back for another guest appearance. Yes. Hello, YouTube. There he is. And today, <laughs> we're going to talk about Canadian whiskey. Mm. Now, when I was first getting interested in whiskey, Canadian whiskey was something that I would say was a barrel of vodka with, you know, a pint of rye in it. Oof. And it was very light. It mm -hmm. had a very light rye taste, and it was almost exclusively used in mixed drinks. I can't believe you brought this old ass bottle of Canadian Club. Well, I went to a store and asked, you know, when, I, when there were only like five rye whiskeys available in the US, mm -hmm. I went there and asked the owner about that, and he said, well, the Canadian whiskey sometimes is thought of rye, but it's not really. So I bought this half pint of rye. And that's when almost no rye whiskeys were available, right? That's right. And so it's it's traditional Canadian whiskey, you know, from forever until the 80s and 90s. That's it. Okay. But these days, Canada has, you know, boasted a revival of different styles. Mm -hmm. And so you can't, if it says Canadian on it, it might be malt. It might be a full-fledged rye whiskey. It might be something else. Mm -hmm. What we have here is mm -hmm. Pikes Creek. Uh, it's a Canadian whiskey. We searched very hard and we couldn't find the mash bill, nope. so I'm going to suggest it's probably got a lot of wheat, corn, and some rye in it I'll all mixed the, together. I'll be the judge of that. And it's finished in rum barrels. Okay. Canadians like rum. We have a video on Screech, which, yeah. is, which is a rum sold in Canada. Of course, it's not made there. It's made in you know, Jamaica. Jamaica. But anyway, they like that. So that's what we have. Yeah. So let's get to the tasting. Heck yeah. yeah. And if you like what we're doing, please like this video and subscribe. And let us know down in the comments if you have any Canadian whiskey stories. Um, feel free to give him... Uh, copious amounts of crap for bringing a 30 plus year old bottle of Canadian Club to this tasting. And other than that, let's uh, give it a whirl. Which one do you want to start with? Oh, we're going to start with the traditional one okay. before we go to the new one. All right, let's start. Let's go to the past. So, to my knowledge, Canadian whiskey just does not have the best reputation or a great reputation amongst whiskey aficionados uh, the world across. I know that. Canadian, not Canadian Club, uh, Crown Royal is very popular. It, it has high number of sales, but I'm not convinced that's not just because people like the bag that it comes in and store all their it's weed best, in it. It's best for illegal substances. Yeah, yeah, that, that is the ideal bag to put your weed and other things into, you know, no well, doubt. How did you resist the temptation of drinking it? It wasn't hard. <laughs> well, let's give it a try. Let's see. Okay. So this is what they used to be known for, essentially. Mm -hmm. So let's see what deserved the reputation. Ah, oh, the smell. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad, it's clean. but it, eh, eh. I guess it's it's straight to the alcohol. I definitely smell the alcohol. Uh, um, there are some other things there, but it it smells like this is going to be a little rough. It's not rough. It's a little buttery. Uh, and you know, it tastes a lot like the Canadian Club that I've had over the last 10, 15 years taste. So yeah, it's, it's we'll a, give it that. They've maintained a very similar uh, taste. It's a little buttery. It's very um, light. Very, very light. light. Um, and I, I think maybe I can taste a little bit of rye in it. Our very first video was a whiskey from Glen Breton. Mm. I hate it's I missed a, that. It's a single malt Canadian whiskey. That's yeah. what it was. I thought it was pretty nice. It was my pretty memories. nice. Well, here's a competitor. Okay. Pike Creek. Okay. Okay. Canadian whiskey finished in... Rum barrels. Rum barrels. Rum barrels. <laughs> mm. I just like the smell. 
That's a oh. that's a good smell. Oh yeah. Nice smell. Significantly Very better clean. than the Canadian Club. Oh, it got a heavier body. Whoa. But it's got, you know, anyway. It has a nice finish wow. to it. Yeah, oh yeah, the, the rum finish is great. Mm -hmm. mm. The smell does have some similarities to the Canadian Club. Oh yeah, it does. But remember, they're not identifying the mash bill. Right, yeah. Which means it could be very close to the Canadian Club mash bill. Mm -hmm. But my guess is it wasn't distilled to quite the high proof Mm -hmm. that the Canadian Club was, uh -huh. so it gives it a little heavier body. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then uh, aging it, finishing it in the uh, uh, rum, barrels. rum barrels, you know, is, is uh, giving it a nice, nice little rounding out at the end. Oh, it definitely, it's adding. Yeah, there's definitely something else there. It definitely um, mm. tastes and smells what I would say quintessentially Canadian. It has that profile to it, just like uh, most scotch has a scotch profile. Um, I would definitely probably be able to identify this was Canadian blind. There are a number of Canadian whiskeys that are absolutely great for sipping. Mm. Neat. Uh, mm. And there are lots of other ones that you can mix with drinks. That's fine. But this one here, the Pike Creek, yeah. uh, is, uh, you know, I think it's one for sipping. Okay, yeah, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Uh, definitely, it's different. So if you have a collection that's mostly made up of bourbon and or scotch, like this is going to stand out. And I think you're going to enjoy it as an everyday, lighter type of sipper. Uh, yeah, I'd give it an endorsement. I So would I. Billy? I think it lends itself to uh, definitely uh, decompressing after a long, stressful day at work, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Un, it's it's a good unwinding. It's definitely whiskey. a good sipper for mm -hmm. sure. Or a, a long, stressful day of retirement. You don't. <laughs> in your case, yes, you yes. don't have to think. It's not. There's nothing here to think on for a long time. Just a good, mm -hmm. nice, unwinding type of whiskey with enough going on to keep your interest. And yeah. something uh -huh. that you might look for if you if you're looking for something that is a little different than a bourbon. Or a rye whiskey. This is a good one. Yeah. And there are others like it. All right. So I've enjoyed it. And thank you for bringing it. And until next time, cheers. Cheers. cheers.